The Spanish Grand Prix has been a permanent fixture on the Formula One calendar for over 30 years now, and for good reason. Do you remember Michael Schumacher's absolute dominance here in that rain-soaked Grand Prix in 1996? That day he took his first ever victory for Ferrari, and we've had many more iconic moments since. It's a sellout crowd of 140,000 here today as we await lights out for the 730 metre sprint down to turn one at this 2.9 mile racetrack. Overtaking is challenging through these 16 corners, but there's still a lot of high speed excitement to be found, including the flat out turn three and the terrifying blind right of turn nine. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here today, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the run down into Turn 1. It's all a bit like going into battle, and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Norris, Sergio Perez and Ricardo. Leclerc, Sainz, Vettel, and Pierre Gasly, Stroll, Sonoda, Esteban Ocon, and Raikkonen, Schwartzman, Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher, and George Russell, Olsen, Fernando Alonso, they've taken a grid penalty, Latifi, and Nikita Mazepin. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going.
Roberts is coming in for his stop. We're going to box this lap, push hard on the in-lap. to the car in front is 4.2 seconds. Exit, exit now. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Okay, focus. We need to stay on form. Blue flag. It looks like we might have an issue. Hang in there. We're attempting to manage it. Our gap to the car in front is 2.2 seconds. Okay, we have a severe engine issue. Find a safe space to retire or return to the pits.
They've done it then. A spectacular victory here in Spain and a massive confidence boost going into the next race. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Lewis Hamilton takes over the lead of the driver's championship after an excellent result. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? Difficult call, but I'd like to say Esteban Ocon. He's just so gifted at getting the most out of his tyres and he showed that today. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon.